thank you. <laughs> you guys actually beat me to it. <laughs> I can't believe you guys saw that before, uh, <laughs> before, before I even went live. Yeah. Yeah, hi everybody! Hi! Sorry I'm late, but we've been celebrating with family. Um, yeah! Wow! I'm getting- I'm getting married! I'm getting married to Chips! Um, spoilers, it is- it is gonna be to Chips! <laughs> I've only had like a day to process this. So, oh, this is her. Thank you. <laughs> Happy four months and thank you. I need a notepad tonight so that I don't I don't miss anybody. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello, friends. And I wanted to tell you guys so badly as soon as like I found out. Thank you guys so much for the congratulations. I have to tell you guys like it was like being hit over the head with a fish or something. Oh, Nikki, thank you. <laughs> We have so many little chickens already. Oh my gosh, I need I need a piece of note paper or something. Okay, I'm gonna pull up a note so I don't lose anybody's names. I I just Yeah! Yeah! Oh my gosh! Sakura four months, Nikki four months. I'm gonna write these down so that I don't forget. But thank you guys so much. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad to know that it's brought you so many smiles. I'm so glad to know that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Manson. Manson, thank you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, so yes, yeah, Scarlet. It was it was so sweet. I'm gonna make a little vlog for Vlogmas, which I want to catch up on to tell you guys the story of how Chips proposed. But let's just say I didn't expect it. So I I. I am still kind of wandering in circles, and I keep teasing him. I'm like, Chips used, I don't I say his real name, of course, uh, but I'm like, Chips used marriage proposal. It was very effective. Siri is still confused. <laughs> like a day later. <laughs> but I am so happy. I am so happy, and I just couldn't believe it, because I was just telling you guys, oh, thank you, Chance. I was just telling you guys how much I love him and how magical life is with him and I was passing the time until he got home from his business meeting and then the day after he got home from his business meeting we went on a walk around the lake and we were looking at mushrooms and I was so excited and I leaned down to look at the mushroom and he leaned down to look at the mushroom with me and I turned to ask him if he was going to poke the mushroom with a stick and he had a ring in his hands. <laughs> and then I fell over and then I cried and then a very confused golden retriever was being walked past us and he was so concerned why were the humans sitting on the forest floor like crying in each other's arms <laughs> and it was just so us and I loved everything about it and I will tell you guys more about like that story on my vlogmas stuff because I'm still my brain is still just We've we've been together for basically as long as the channel has been here And I just say that to kind of because they're they've been very parallel my last six years of my life I met him shortly after we started the channel and the two things kind of grew together as I discovered more about myself through Creating and he really is the secret force behind all of the adventures we've made because without his support we wouldn't have gotten to where we are now and now I'm gonna be his wife and we're gonna be married and that's really special to me and really amazing. So thank you guys so much. I, I'm gonna have um, some tea and tonight I really am gonna need you guys help because I, I've, we finished celebrating with family and we got home and guys, I'm, did anyone, like, what did you guys think was supposed to happen? Like, when, like, you get proposed to. Cause I thought that you'd be at least cohesive. And instead I keep sitting and staring into space. And then all of a sudden he'll, he'll be in some other part of the apartment and I'll just yelp out like, Marion, you asked me to marry you. <laughs> and he'll just burst out laughing and be like, yep. 
<laughs> I know, I just kind of sit there. Gordon, that's, that's how I feel too. I'm just kind of sitting here stunned. So apologies if I'm extra slow tonight or just kind of stare into space and don't say anything now and then. I think I have never in my entire life, I know I've never in my entire life had something so blissful open up in front of me that I just can't think. That you just smile and you just kind of, this is, this is Twitter patient to the max is what I think. Just utterly, I am utterly Twitter pated. Exactly. It's a mental overload. Yeah. You're just stunned. <laughs> giraffe, giraffe wedding. <laughs> I'm going to ask him if we can get giraffe toppers for a little cake. <laughs> that would be so fun. Oh my gosh. That would be so fun. Then I could just keep them in my in my little giraffe corner over there i'm gonna ask him if we could do that that's a that's a brilliant idea just get a couple little giraffe toppers i know hi hybrid i got proposed to and then i said yes it was really cute when i told my parents yesterday on the phone because i was like so chips of course i say his real name but i was like uh so chips proposed to me and then both my parents start screaming on the end of the phone and like banshees they were uh and they were so excited and I just burst out laughing and I was like wow you guys must have really assumed I said yes <laughs> but I said yes of course <laughs> oh a cake with giraffe spots oh my gosh a giraffe cake would be so fun <gasps> maybe chips and I can adopt a giraffe from the giraffe conservation foundation like we don't really need anything so we were thinking about just making our registry all like nature donations anyway maybe we could adopt a giraffe through the giraffe conservation for like us to celebrate to put that love and that happiness and that kindness back out in the world Oh, that'd be amazing. Oh gosh, and speaking of giraffes, like I need to get into the game. So while I ramble and just stare into okay. space, we can watch our albino giraffe give birth to what is now going to be like the first giraffe born after, after I learned I'm getting married. <laughs> And thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for the congratulations because it really does mean the, just so much. Oh, yeah, right, Plant Queen? My parents actually got married on the first day of spring, and so I'm kind of thinking about that myself. Oh, and let me turn off the FPS. There we go. Because that would be really nice. But it was, it was, it was amazing. It is amazing. Oh my gosh, there are giraffe wedding toppers. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> and Dominique, we we don't know. Like, I, I right now we're at the engaged stage. And thank you, Seals. Yeah, we just got engaged. We got engaged. The love of my life. I'm always telling you guys how much I love him. I'm always telling you guys how much I love him. And we are so freaking happy together. And now... We're going to continue to, like, be so happy together. Oh, gosh. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and pause for just a second. Um, <laughs> yeah, right, Plant Queen? Oh, my gosh. Um, we're thinking we're thinking about a lot of things, but I'll, I'll keep you guys updated as we get more information because I think it's fun to kind of share those kinds of things. But at the moment, we just want to keep things small and happy and celebrate with our loved ones and our family. And it's really cool because I feel like we already have so much of what we need. So our big goal is to just put the joy and the happiness we've brought each other out into the world and to find ways to do that. Like legitimately, if I could, I would want to like spend our honeymoon. I'm going to have a honeymoon. I didn't even, I didn't ever think I was getting married <laughs> as weird as that sounds. So my mind is completely blasted with joy and stunned. Um, but I would spend it like volunteering somewhere. That would be really cool if we could go volunteer like at a shelter or something and help out some animals. Uh, but I'll keep you guys updated as we kind of figure out like what the heck heck a doodle we're doing. Cause this is um this is pretty special. <laughs> oh hey! Oh guys. Oh thank you. There's so much <gasps> Julia! You're right. I would love to go to Costa Rica to see all of the birds there. That is actually a dream of mine. That would be really amazing. <laughs> oh, hey, Scarlet! Thank you so much. Oh, Snow, thank you guys so much. I I really am 
it, 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 thank you, Ash Feather. It is so joyful. And honestly, that's just what I keep feeling. Cause not, I mean, we already have such a beautiful life together. And I didn't think so much would change, but actually it really does feel like we're gonna take the celebration of the the years, <laughs> the years that that we've spent together and the love and joy that we've we've got together, and we're gonna take it to a whole nother level. We're gonna celebrate what we know works together and the joy that we know we have. And honestly, guys, like everything you see, like not just here in the little stream zoo that we've made, but everything that you see in all of the adventures we've created, everything you see around you, everything you can see in how I have changed in the last six years from those first nervous little episodes where I started sharing my life so, so long ago with all of you to now, it's been him as my other half, my shadow, like helping me figure it out and vice versa. And gosh, I, I'm just really happy that we get to take all of that goodness and all of the things that we've created and take it to another level. And basically, I, I'm not going to make much sense because I'm in love and overwhelmed and overjoyed and I'm getting married to the love of my life. I don't know when yet. It's going to happen before we go to Taiwan, so before summer. <laughs> But wow. <laughs> oh, bat wings. I'm never going to look at mushrooms the same way again. Because that was just so perfectly us. Like me leaning down. I was like, la di da di da. I need to really start getting more video for Vlogmas. Oh, that's a cute mushroom. And like I leaned down to take a picture of it. And then that happened. <laughs> so it was, it was really amazing. Oh, wow. All right. All right. <laughs> he's he's just so amazing. Oh, sorry, Rose. You remember watching the original uh, Zoo Tycoon too? Yeah, that was that was back when I was learning how to really be adamant about the things that I loved, and that brought me a lot of satisfaction. And now, just really, guys, my the biggest thing I can say is, I'm so happy to have another way to celebrate how amazing he is and how how amazing our life is together. So yeah, uh, I'm 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 a little I'm a little tickled. Also, Sakura, I finally have your your chicken, your four month chicken. Yay, Sakura, four months. <laughs> All right, so we've got that done. Oh yeah, Sakura, you get to be in the pyramid. I think that it's a good thing. We're gonna decorate the pyramid. We've got Sakura over here, and then we have Nikki over here. There we go, Nikki and Sakura. Your four months. <laughs> there we go. And I've got your names properly put down on your chickens. Oh, Jabril, I'm so glad. Gosh, you guys, that's exactly what I mean. So many of you are saying that you're smiling so much. And that just means so much from the bottom of my heart to know that that's something that's so beautiful in our lives can bring so many of you guys joy and, and happiness and, and just to share that with you. It means so much to be able to share that with all of you. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, let me have just a moment. I, like I said, I'm going to be extra just like loopy. Because I'm I'm still stunned. I told him I still feel like I have stars spinning around my head. I'm so stunned. <laughs> I'll pick it up, Julia. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think we really are gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna like see if we can adopt a giraffe to celebrate like our wedding. Cause we don't want things. I mean we're getting ready to Oh hey E Danny, welcome to the adventures. <laughs> we're getting ready to like move to a foreign country for who knows how long and put all of our stuff in storage. So really, it's all about trying to figure out how to to celebrate just the joy of everything. And Windfall in, hey, thank you so much. Oh, another four month subscription. <gasps> We're full of strange chickens and Boing is pregnant. Oh, Windfall in, thank you so much for four months with your Twitch Prime. <laughs> and hi, your dad. <laughs> Oh, welcome to the adventures. Windfall, let me find a good spot for you. In fact, Windfall, I'm going to put you over here just for a moment. Why do we have protesters? We'll figure that out. We don't need protesters in this zoo. We've got we've got so much going on. All right, let me put this over here. And I'm going to put Windfall on, on top of this palm tree. Also, apologies. In four months, thank you so much for that, Windfall. I can't believe... I can't believe... Like, I, again, 
I apologize immensely if I'm just kind of babbling to myself, but I'm getting married? I didn't think I was ever getting married. <laughs> oh my gosh, Smaggle Daggle. Did Chips propose to me with a potato? No. <laughs> Though so my friend Renee said I should get a, a bouquet of potatoes uh, for my bouquet. Um, gosh, wow. I guess I'm going to need a bouquet. And like a cake, I guess. Like, I don't, I, I, I never, I never once in my entire life. Windfallen, did I name you? Let me make sure I named you. Yes, I did. I never once in my entire life daydreamed about getting married. Ever. I was, I just never did. So this is kind of stunning. And I'll never forget when Chips was like, okay, so, you know, we'll think about like what kind of music to play and what kind of food to serve. And we'll think about like where to go on a honeymoon. And then I like fell over again, like just as I started to get my feet back under myself. Oh, um. Uh <laughs> Oh my gosh. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I I totally will story Rosie. I totally will. Oh, Beth, totally vanilla. We agreed on vanilla. Um, like a really good vanilla that's full of flavor. So it appears that our little pokey cactuses have, um, have something in them that attracts spring brock. Okay. Okay. I, I admire how this baby is looking at its mom. Like, what is wrong with you? What are you doing? <laughs> this is amazing. This is why I love Planet Zoo so much. I got to take a picture of that. Wow. <laughs> Thankfully, they're okay, but I didn't know that the spring rock would climb on the cactuses, so that's different. <laughs> that's so much fun, and thank you so much, Meepy. So, yeah, I will, I will, I, apologies if I'm, like, not replying to everything right now. I'm still, like, getting this through my head, um, but I never, I never thought we would, like, this is my promise ring that we've got on right now. Because he thought it would be really sweet. And I agree to, to build like something, pick something together that really represented us together. Uh, also, he didn't know my ring size. So <laughs> better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. Congratulations uh, to me, I think. Yes, that's right. You all are saying congratulations. I apologize. I'm completely mentally flummoxed. Um, also very impressed by that spring brock. Her son is going to learn how to definitely... Uh, Definitely climb, like he was just born like a month ago. Hang in there, little guy. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Rainbow Bean Child. Okay, I won't apologize, but I appreciate the understanding if my mind is just scattered to the winds. I am stunned. I am happy and stunned. Hey! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Oh, thank you, EJ Rich. Today's already a success. We have a happy to be married Siri and a cactus spring rock. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. And I see my beloved chips hanging out in there. Hi, darling. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I think we're all at a good consensus. I need to figure out a way to have a giraffe wedding cake. <laughs> what, has he been in there? I'm that distracted. I don't even notice that Chip sneaked into chat. <laughs> oh, hi, Annie. Thank you. Oh, Rainbow Bean Child. Thank you. Yeah. Gosh, this is this is just amazing. I love all the honking too. Ah, uh, and who's blocking the path? There's just this like one Springbok here. Radishi. Radishi, let's go ahead and we're actually going to release this healthy boy into the wild, I think. Um, yes. So, because he, he was just born and we were going to have some improper gender ratios with those guys anyway. Uh, but thank you guys. Thank you. Oh, Dizzy needs a successor. Did we lose Dizzy? Oh my gosh, please tell me. We, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a moment to kind of survey what's going on. Uh, I think we have some hungry cheetah. I, I I don't want anybody... Oh my gosh, there's a lot of cheetah going on in here. 
Um, let's see. Chinsu thinks, well, it's your own fault, Chinsu, for having so many babies. Oh my gosh, there's too many cheetahs. <laughs> Okay, one second. Oh, Chirp is like so old. Jaha, let's go ahead and put you, my dear. She's actually feeling okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in the trade center. I think she's the one who had babies with her brother, but that's okay. Her mom, Chirp, will watch after the little ones. Um, <laughs> is there a cheetah halfway like through the... F what is happening? <laughs> no wonder my cheetah is upset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at everybody. Oh my gosh. Why do these people look so upset? Like, come on. You're as close to a cheetah as you're ever going to be, friends. This has been a really wild night. and We literally just got started. Uh, all right. I'm parched. The zoo ticket is good. Okay. No, no reactions to the cheetah in front of you? I should go find the plane, zebra. Let's see. I'm parched. Okay, so everybody's just thirsty and they want a nice cold drink. And I think the reason that our cheetah is upset is because he's kind of halfway through the fence. So let's put him inside. Hey, Claire. Oh, gosh. All right. Hopefully this will serve him better. Oh, yeah. His stress is already going down. He just wants some new toys and we'll give him some new toys soon. Oh, gosh. But yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited. And so I'll keep you guys updated more on the wedding thing. I've only had a little bit to get used to the idea. So <laughs> I will keep you guys updated more on that um, as we figure it out. But it's going to be small and, and beautiful. And the biggest thing I, I hope I can share with all of you to take away is that it's just a celebration of love. And whatever we do from beginning to end, I hope it will be love a representation of that love and a way to put more love out into the world. And hi, Marmar! Because if I had to say anything, the one of the most beautiful lessons I have learned in sharing my life with this amazing, amazing person is that Chips really has taught me that the clearest way to really feel fulfilled in life and to have a good life is to do your best to leave this world better than you found it in whatever way really calls out to your heart for that. And yay, hello, Dark Evanescence. Thank you so much for subscribing for two months. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of leave that thought with you guys too, because that's what I think of when I think about how we're, we're so in love, is that uh, Chips really has taught me the most important thing you can really do with life is just try to leave it better than you found it. And often on hard days, that gets me up and going and creating. Even when things are difficult and scary and, you know, you don't know how long YouTube will last or any of that nonsense. I realize it doesn't matter because creating our adventures and building a community like this leaves the world better than I found it. And so that's good enough. All the other stuff, metrics, numbers, whatever, all that's just ridiculous. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but all right, give me one second. Dark Evan Essence, thank you so much. And hello, Jacob. Welcome, Jacob Eleven. Are you perhaps a Doctor Who fan? Uh, all right, let's see. Dark Evan Essence. Evan Essence. I listened to that so much growing up. There we go. Dark Evan Essence, thank you so much for two months. That means you've got another egg hiding around in here some somewhere. We've got a lot of eggs. <laughs> oh, thank you, Milo. Thank you. Really, I think if you live the kind of life where you feel like just being yourself could make the world a better place, you're doing it right. You got this. All right, so let's give me just a second to look over this. Oh, do we have a new gift? Oh, hey! Did I not claim my shorts? We had another zebra born! You guys! We have shorts! <laughs> we have zebra shorts! Huzzah! We need to get a move on with actually having the zebra babies. Um, I just realized because otherwise we're not going to see the... Okay, that should be fine. We're not going to really see a lot of those rewards because it looks like... Yeah, you need more than eight before you even get to the shirt. So I'm going to try to leave things rolling. And we might try to find some more female zebra. Because I think we can have... Oh, did Nia grow up? Oh, no, no. Nia didn't grow up yet. One second. Because we have one, two, three, four, five females. Is this one? That one's not pregnant. She just kind of looks it. 
And I think I think you can only have five before they start fussing though. So we might just have to wait. We've had three babies so far. We might look for a female with really high fertility. That might be a good way to go. Because, yeah, like, Sirocco here does not have very good fertility. So we might try to find better better fertility on these ladies. Uh, oh, also, hey, Chips is visiting! He's checking out the cheetah! This is, this is nothing, like, I don't know this man. This is not the man I'm marrying. I'm going to marry him. Oh, my gosh. I love him. 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 Also, that's not him. That looks nothing like him. Don't let that man fool you. I, I have no idea who he is. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah. Wow. All right. Let's go ahead and say, oh, hey, I don't see many other female players. So that's always exciting. Let's say hello to everybody. Oh, another female player. Cool. And A West is over here. The tiger is popular as always. And let's see if we can find ourselves um, a better female zebra or two. We might even rotate a couple zebras in. Let me double check how many of them you can have at once. Just to be sure. Hey, Dusty. Where is the... Okay, Zoopedia. Like, I know this game like the back of my hand now, but I'm just so happy and confused by life. <laughs> that I, I'm like, wait, what's going on? All right, vet research is done. Yes, we've researched the zebra like 100%. How did that even happen? They just snuck back behind my back like that. Batwoman Barbara, do more research. And Nefertiti, I'm going to have Nefertiti continue doing advanced bonus research. Do you guys know what advanced bonus research does? <laughs> I know, I'm really excited too, guys. I'm really excited. All right, let me go ahead and save. All right, oh, and Queen Soup is about to have more babies. Okay, let me pinch myself a little bit. Um, I'm still, I'm getting married. What? I didn't ever think that was gonna happen. Um, and then let's go ahead and see if we can find some female zebras on the market that we can afford. We might need to like see, oh wow, there's actually quite a few female zebras. Huh. We want some younger ones. And we want really good fertility. Oh, there's quite a few young healthy ones with like 100% fertility. So what do you guys think? Should we replace some of our zebras that we bought for cash that don't have very good fertility with ones that have great fertility? Or should we try to get just like a line of albino zebra? I think we'll just want to try to get as many zebra as possible personally. Oh, hey, <laughs> my chips. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Yeah, 100. Yeah, get as many as possible. Okay, and I think I'll actually get some extra females. Uh, and even though it says they do best with groups of five, we'll see if they actually fuss at each other because they have such a big area. If they do, we'll take care of that and like move them about. If they don't, oh, hey, Valerian, thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome to our wonderful, wonderful group. Oh my gosh. Our fantastic zoo. Welcome to the zoo. <laughs> oh, Valerian, what a beautiful name. Let me go ahead and tuck you somewhere. Let's see. I I've been thinking that maybe we'll carve like this spot off for snacks. Cause I think we, we could put some snacks over here somewhere for people to enjoy. Or maybe I can convince people to come over here if I give them something to eat. That would be nice, because I need more people to come and visit this side. I wonder if I could convince them. You know what, Valerian? I'm gonna put you over here, and we'll try to put down like some sort of little fun food spot in a minute, and see if we can, and hello, Dilly! See if we can get people to come back this way. Valerian, there we go. Welcome, thank you so much. I know, right? We need celebratory snacks in here. I definitely need to get some celebratory snacks. All right, let's get a couple more female zebra before I completely just lose my mind. And then we'll check in on the cheetah because the cheetah having babies, oh my gosh, those camels are so noisy. The cheetahs having babies really help us out. So I'm gonna just look for, that's a pretty healthy one. She's pretty good. 
Just a couple of the cheaper ones that we can afford. I'm not going to focus entirely on the albino ones just yet because they're very expensive. Okay, that's immunity gene zero. This one's pretty good fertility. I could probably... Not the best on other things, but I could probably replace this one. Whoop, did I not get that one or did I get that one? I think we lost that one. All right, immunity. Hang on one second, friends. Oh, what? What? Oh my gosh, 12? Oh my gosh. <laughs> For 12? That was so nice of that person. Making like female zebra available for 12 during the the event. That's so cool Okay, okay, I'll save. I know the the albino zebras look so cool and thank you so much frost fox and Brady All right, let's see Zebra cakes. I love that idea cyborg game. I love that idea Also, apparently the ostriches are going to fight again Because the boys are growing up and they're gonna go beat up their dad which is a very rude thing to do to King Smaggle. Apparently our ostriches cost $6,000 to feed right now, <laughs> which is ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and put our ostriches up. We'll put the boys on the trade center because King Smaggle, let's see how long King Smaggle is going to live before we need King Smaggle the second. 46 years. We have plenty of time. King Smaggle does not need his sons to stick around for now. King Smaggle is only nine. He has till his 40s at least. And he's got, actually guys, it's gonna be long live King Smaggle. Cause look at this. He's got 100% longevity. <gasps> That's right guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Speaking of longevity, is Mario still alive? If Mario is still alive, I have got to give him a new mate like immediately. Is Mario still alive? Mario is still alive. He is 94 years old. This man is 94 years old. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, hey, tigers. Tigers, one, two, three. Welcome. Welcome to the adventures. <laughs> Let me go ahead and plop you down. Oh, sorry for the sudden lag there. I have no idea what that's about. But let me go ahead and plop you down over by our tiger exhibit, actually, because that sounds perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, and how are our tigers doing? Okay, our white tiger is still doing great. I think tigers, I'm gonna put you, we do have quite a few eggs over here. Hmm, hmm. But I feel like we could do with another one up here. Yes, tucked right at the entrance. Like there's some sort of, you know those birds who always nest in the overhangs of those covered areas, the little tree sparrows? And they always have those tiny little nests that are just shoved up in urban areas. This is going to be Tiger123. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, there should be the albino giraffe. <gasps> it is February of year 114. We should have the albino giraffe baby. I'm going to name her Joy. I'm going to name her Joy. Because I'm getting married. I'm getting married. I'm. Oh my gosh. To the love of my life, who has shown me that there really is beauty and magic in the world, especially if you show up every day and you work at it and you write your joy moments and you put the work in and you look for it actively. To the love of my life, I'm getting married. Oh. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. One second, friends. Uh, I'm going to put in this female right here for Mario. I'm going to name her um, Princess Pear because we already had Princess Peach. <laughs> so let me add Princess Pear in for, um, for our boy Mario because I feel like he needs somebody. And then, yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> And Clara, we, we don't know when yet. It's going to be before we go to Taiwan, um, if we go to Taiwan. So before before summer, before we have to leave in June, for sure. Um, all right, and let's go ahead. Oh, and thank you, Stream Bros. I will definitely check it out in a little bit. Thank you. I see y'all down there in the, the Patreon and sub Discord. All right, we are actually supposed to have a... 
There's the sage. Where's his mate? Where's that? How do I lose? Okay, there she is. And then, oh, 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 the plains zebra are fighting? What? Monsoon and Wisp are fighting because there's too many females now? Well, don't be like that, ladies. There's no need. Okay, hang on one second. I'm going to find... Oh, hey! Farmer Cats... Yeah. Farmer Cats Kins, thank you so much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime! Let me add you in, in just a second, too. Here, I'm going to go ahead and put Sirico in the Trade Center for just a second. Because she's got such low fertility. And Cirrus, has she had a baby? She has had a baby. So I'm going to put her in the Trade Center, too. I should, probably should have left the one... There we go. I hate to separate them from mom and child, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, all right. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Farmer Cat Kens, thank you so much. Let me add in your egg really quickly. Let's see. Let's see. Where am I going to put you? I'm going to put you over here with, um, with these cheetahs, actually, because we're about to redo some of this cheetah area and make it look really nice. Farmer Cat Kens, thank you. Oh, and Dizzy, thank you so much. Yeah. Weddings are fantastic. They're all about your love for each other. Big and flashy or small and intimate, they're all about the love you both share. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be extravagant. They're just special no matter what. Yeah, exactly, Dizzy. I think ours is going to be just really, really very personal. <gasps> Zelda, I thought they said Zebra's about to have a baby. Um. All right, hang on one second. Starlight. <gasps> wait, 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 Starlight! Wait! Where's the baby? <laughs> Starlight! She snuck the baby behind the egg temple! <laughs> the baby was born! Starlight, where is she? How do you lose? <gasps> the giraffe! She's so cute! He is so cute! <laughs> oh, look at him! Look at him, guys. Hey, bunny food. Welcome, welcome to the adventures. Oh, <gasps> what are we going to name him? I could still name him Joy. For some reason, I thought for sure he would be a boy or a girl. Uh, so let's see. Do I want Joy? Hope, love, honor, cherish. I think I'm going to go ahead and name him... Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and name him Honor. Because that Joy can be a boy name. Joy, yeah, Joy can be a boy name. I think Joy can be a boy name, too. I think I think I kind of want to name him um, um, Honor. I like that a lot. To, like, honor your joy. Uh, here, we'll call him Honor Little Chips. There we go. <laughs> I like that because he's got, like, a little, little chip pattern all over his... Um, all over his body. But there we go, guys. Our very first baby giraffe that we have ever had in Planet Zoo. He's not so sure about the terrains and he wants better shelter. But otherwise, he's doing pretty good. And look at those ossicones. His tiny little fluffy ossicones. Oh, guys. Did you guys know when they're born, those ossicones are really flat and kind of curved in because they're bone and you don't want to have that pushing against the birth canal when they're born. So when they uh, land, they're just kind of have these fluffy little flopped over ossicones. And as the days go by, their ossicones harden up because they're bone and they stick straight up. And eventually they lose the extra fluff on top. No, that's not a sibling. That's a zebra. I know you guys are both albino and you look awful similar. Oh my gosh, his little ears. He's so precious. I love him. I know, right, Starry? He is so... Oh, Starry, your celebration would have been a good one, too. Oh, and that girl, Nene, it's so good to see you. Guys, I'm just so happy. Oh, hey, wait, what, what? Monsoon's mating! Huzzah! Monsoon and Nimbus are now working on another zebra, which is very exciting. 
Oh, and actually, I was thinking, guys, maybe we should get two zebra exhibits going. And I was actually thinking what we might do is we might set it up so that the zebras can kind of have a stone walkway to go across. So, you know, in those great migrations, you see zebra moving like in big herds across the river and avoiding the chomping of the crocodiles. Well, I was thinking it'd be really cool to let some of the zebra, like a secondary breeding herd, kind of have a spot that's behind all of our staff here where they could walk across and like sit in shelters that look like they're part of this little village we've been building. So it would look like they were part of like the villagers livestock, but then they could cross a little bridge this way and then we'll change this area so guests can come by. And hey, Celestial Sloth, and thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, Frost Fox. <laughs> Oh, oh really? There was a book series called The White Giraffe? Oh, Hybrid Equalist. Oh, I want to look into that. That would be really cool. Oh, you guys like that idea? Yeah. So I'm thinking that would be good just so that we could have like a rotating breeding herd and we could just move the male from herd to herd to make sure that we have more zebras being born. And then it would be really fun because it would give us another way to bring people into the dry, dry desert because we might pull them along this side and maybe add more animals like um, the buffalo we could put back here to make it really look like it was part of the town, little town in the desert, which I think would be really fun. And then we might even put some peacocks back here. That would be really cool to really make it look like the peacocks were strutting and strolling through the village. That would be so much fun. I really like that idea. So we'll work on that to be able to add in more zebra. And also because we have all of these people, but for them to get over to the dry, dry desert, they have to like walk through this whole area. So maybe if we make this not a staff path, we make it a path that they can go on. We might start seeing some more attendants in, uh, uh oh, animals died. Oh, our giant panda died of old age. Oh dear. Oh, and a pangolin died, but it did so peacefully. I very much appreciate that. All right, and okay. Onyx Falls. Why do we have Nintendo? Oh, Nintendo's back and he's going to start p fighting with his dad. So I'm going to put Nintendo. He's kind of like Mario the second. Nintendo Mario's son. I'm typing that in. So just so you guys can see, I'm typing that in. Uh, but he is now the alpha, but we're going to put him in the trade center for now. And then when Mario passes away of ancient, ancient old age, we'll put him in as Mario the second, because I never want to lose the Mario line now. It's, it's almost more amazing than the Donkey Kong line. Cause I mean, Mario's, uh, do you think he's going to be a hundred? I would be stunned if he reached a hundred, but that would be so cool. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Starry Rose Knight, your egg is right over here. Your egg is right there. Ta-da! And that's actually what I'm thinking is I would love to start working on renovating this side so that I'm getting married. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's still like, what? <laughs> uh, I would love to start working on renovating this side so that people will walk along it and we can make a bunch of little gardens and places where they can get a nice drink. And one day I would like to expand Pangolin Point and redo this whole entrance that we made into something nicer. So that would be really fun. All right. So I think everything is more or less taken care of. There's a few animals that might fuss for alpha status. Let me double check. We have a lot of zebra now. Um, I think, yeah, I think we have animals will fight for spring brock, spring brock. Okay, the spring brock apparently, I thought we had the spring brock all figured out. Oh geez, there's so many pregnant spring brock. Oh my gosh, and they grow up so quickly. <laughs> All right, so I need to take all of the little males and we're just gonna go ahead and release the little males into the wild who are not security goat. Um, and we'll figure that out. I know, right, Scarlett? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting married. Chips proposed a couple days ago. Oh, and have a wonderful time, Clover. I hope you have a great time getting a Christmas tree. We just got ours. 
Well, you know the funny thing, you guys, is that like for me this is a huge shock because I didn't think like I'd ever get married. Um, so for me this is a huge, huge shock. But for Chips, I mean, he's been thinking about this for months. Also, are you okay, little Dizzy? Where are you, dear? Does having the little private area not help? Oh, there we go. Now she feels better. She just needed to walk to the other side. Oh, thank you so much, Scarlet. I am really, really... I'm still kind of in shock, to be honest, but I'm really happy. Wow, Springbrock have babies fast. Hopefully we'll get more albino Springbrock. All right, so... Yeah, Dizzy is a complicated being, Dizzy. I agree. So I think what I want to work on now is we're going to renovate this path so that people can walk down it and figure out what to get out of their way. Uh, this is a transformer. And I think that transformer absolutely heckin' needs to be somewhere around here. But if I move it to where our little village is... Okay. It almost... Ah, uh, so close, so close. It just puts one thing out of alignment. Because I can move the transformer, like, down here. And then hide it behind some rocks, no problem. Yeah, like, I can put it right there. So it's not on the, that side of the river anymore. But it puts these two things out of commission. Whoops, I'm going to go ahead and pause so we don't accidentally hurt some of our poor little snakes. However, guests don't mind the solar panels. Wait, wait, wait. Are they still? Okay, hang on. Yes! Okay, so we're still good there. So moving the transformer was fine. And then we need to move the water purifier. So that's the next thing. And if I move this, that will expose that patch of water. However, I think if I delete this, and then move this water treatment over just a little bit. Then we can clear up that other side. Yeah, if I move it over here, let's check. Yeah, then we still have the cheetah covered. So we're still good on the water purifier. I just need to put down a little new path over here uh, and also move it really quickly. All right, one second, friends. Flip, flip. There we go. I'm gonna get married to, I just, I can't even imagine what kind of, I know it sounds silly, but I just, I can't, I can't wait to see what kind of adventures he and I go on next. Cause the personal adventures we've done have shaped so much of what I've shared with all of you guys. So the idea of being able to share even more of them, I, I don't know, like all of the joy that we've had together has, has been what has created everything that you see. So I'm just, tickled to see how that's gonna how that's gonna keep going so yeah don't mind me <laughs> chips <laughs> you're still lurking my love oh jabriel have a good night have a good night all right and let's get this um this keeper hut over and figure out how to keep our guest from being too fussed by it Thankfully, they they seem to be somewhat forgiving of the Keeper Hut. Wait, what's over here that they're upset about? Oh, there's a protester. Okay, we'll have to take care of that protester. Uh, that sounded really threatening. I didn't mean take care of the protester. I meant we would have to escort the protester to, to a nice spot to have a good drink of water where we'll all have a good conversation about what we all could do better to take care of the animals, not toss them into the brink or something. <laughs> All right, let me see. Would this get... He, I think we want to move this zookeeper hut probably back here, away from where the, the guests kind of are. And we'll figure out what to do with it from there. All right, let me go ahead and put this path down and then I'll save. And then... Actually, we're going to do a whole new path right over here. It's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to change up this entire zone and see if we can convince people to come and hang out with a nice little garden and also to come see the dry, dry desert. All right, there we go. Let me go ahead and save really quickly. Na, na, na. All 
There we go. But how has your guys' night been? Oh, thank you, my cat. Thank you. I really... <laughs> I'll let the protesters swim with the fish. <laughs> And by that, I mean King K. Rule because there's no piranhas. Oh my gosh, Disney, we do need to add in King K. Rule still. Is King K. Rule a boy or a girl today? You never know. Oh, yay! Wow, Batwoman Barbara is just knocking this out of the like ballpark with the research she's doing. Uh, and by is King K. Rule a uh, male or female today? I mean that every time we check on that girl, it changes. Now it's a boy. Sometimes it's a girl. You just never know what you're going to get in there. Uh, in our little reward section. But all right, let's do this, guys. Let's get people back here and get them having a good time. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually do six, do four. Yeah, we want to do six. Maybe align to grid? I haven't, I haven't, like, aligned to grid for quite a while over here, but why not? Just make it nice and tidy. Nope, now nope, it's obstructed. Forget grids. We're organic around these parts. I don't need no grids. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's do this. And then I'm going to have... Huh. I kind of want to have like a cool river walk. I think a river walk might actually be more fun. I really love the organic look of things. So instead of... Yeah, look at that. See, I kind of love doing things where they just look really, really organic. <laughs> Instead of, you can't tame me. <laughs> I'm too wild for this. <laughs> so let me wiggle over here. And I think we might even redo some of the habitat over here. But no, 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 the zebra can come up along here. I gotcha, I gotcha. All right. So then we'll do this. And then we'll have this wander through the garden. Gotcha. And then connect up. No, 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 not with that tiny thing. We want it to, hmm, hmm. Fine, that's better than nothing. We'll, we'll figure out how to make that look nicer. Uh, but that would be so people could come and see the cheetah. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll do one big path like that. And then let me actually shrink it down. And so then what we'll do is I'm gonna make the river a little bit longer, maybe even running to the edge. And we'll make that walkway so that the zebra, as they say in some countries, can come. Okay, we need to remove the water temporarily. I hope I can put that back in. Water, I find, can be really, really fussy. All right. Yeah, aligning to grids actually makes you able to make big, huge paths like you want to, to make when uh, making big seating areas. And yes, oh, my chips! He was saying something! Oh! <laughs> My night has been good. I got engaged the other day. Darling. I love you too. I love him. Like. When I think about this. Oh, Kira Lewis. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. So you've been subscribed for two months now. Here. We'll get you in here. You're going you're gonna to hang out. Oh, your egg was really bouncy tonight. My goodness. We're gonna get you over here, and you're gonna hang out over here, and we'll scoot you around once we get our little mock village up some. Thank you so much, Kira Louise, for two months. Two months. I mean, look at how our adventures have evolved over the last two months. I could not have predicted this, or this, or this. <laughs> like, this is amazing. I'm just sitting here like a goose trying to think about how to make my my zebra area and also very happily distracted thinking about like wow i wonder what joy this is going to bring to my life and i wonder how i can share that joy that's really important to me all right let me get this down here all right did that make a nice little river yes it's valid i will live for that validity oh Oh, thank you, Rainbow. Oh, Rainbow Bean Child, thank you. Thank you. I'll definitely check that out in just a minute. All right. So we've got that done now, guys. And this is kind of going to be very exciting to see. Uh oh, did somebody go in a box? A whole bunch of my pangolins are in boxes now. I don't know why. We fixed it. So it's going to be cool to see if people are going to like wiggle this way, but I don't want them to wiggle right into the waiting arms of that protester. So we have too many snicks. 
That's our problem. The dry, dry desert snake habitat is overflowing. I need one of y'all to come and wrangle some danger noodles with me. Any volunteers? All right, all right, I'm coming, danger noodles. That's what you guys get for breeding like absolute bonkers. There we go. <laughs> the spaghetti of danger noodles, Raven Silver Sea. Oh, it's so good to see you. And that is such a perfectly apt way of putting it. And gosh darn it. All right, all right. Oh my gosh, look at how many people are already using the path. Yes. All right, we've got to get these puff adders out of here. I'm a going. I'm a going. We've got so many of them. Holy canoodles. That's a lot of snakes. And I hear the little cheetahs chirping along. Oh, wait, why is, okay, what's going on? Valley of Ollie. Saffron, why are you in a box? Get out of your box, my dear. You don't need to be in a box. Um, all right, we need all of those. There, there's those danger noodles again. I need to be careful this time to only select. Okay. Our thing is empty though, so I should be able to select 30. All right, give me one second. I've got danger noodle spaghetti salad on my hands. Pregnant females, oh dear. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab those ones. All right, 30 almost. Oh, we've got a good haul of spaghetti this time, guys. All right, come along. Come along, snacks. 29. Yes, we got that many of them. Huzzah, let's see. I wish, oh, oh, is select all actually working now? I wish it would work so bad. It never works. I wish it would work so bad because this would make it so much faster, but it never does. That's okay. Let's see how much money in puff adders we have. We might need to start moving some gold level puff adders about. Also, I can hear the camels in my ears. 17,000, not bad. And now the protesters should get out of here. Danger noodles, AKA bunny. Murder spaghetti. You guys, it's hilarious. Oh, oh, you guys, you don't mind getting bitten? Oh, well, I would be a little concerned. And the zebras are mating again. Well, that's good. That's exactly what they're here for. Um, I would be a little concerned. Yes, and she's expecting offspring. Huzzah! All right, in October of next year. That's pretty good. How many pregnant zebras do we have now? Let's check it out. We now have Monsoon is pregnant and uh, Uldaba is pregnant. So she actually, we have two new zebra names we need to give to people or give to the zebras. So you guys have any names that have things to do with weather or um, like mist or art of some kind? I know, right, Starry Rose? They're just like in the back. Ooh, Hurricane! And Tempest. I like Tempest, for sure. Like, let's go with Tempest for one. And then... Let's see. We've also got... I haven't named a couple of them, either. And then let's go with Rain for this one. We had a gorilla named Rain Cloud, which I thought was really beautiful. And then, uh... Nimbest. I actually really like that name. Where's we have a little female right over here that we're gonna go ahead and name Nimbest. Nim Nim. There we go. <gasps> Dizzy's about to rub. Hey Dizzy, you're on your third life. Oh look, and you found a little private. Wow, you really found an extremely private section. Because this is the little gorilla baby who has always been very fussy about wanting some privacy. So she's literally living in the depths of a cave. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> she knew what she wanted. She knew what she wanted. She's a complicated shy bean and she now has like her own little privacy back here. Thank you very much. She's really cute. She just she just wants to be out of prying eyes. Aww. Hang in there, little Dizzy. Yeah, I'm very shy too. 
That's why, like, I'm thinking, like, I, that's, I think that's why I've never thought about getting married <laughs> is because I'm so shy that the idea just makes me be like, oh, like faint, like a little fainting goat or something. Believe it or not, I'm extremely shy. I've really worked on it and gotten better about it. <laughs> but yeah. All right, let's see. How's everybody doing? I think pretty good. I think if we're going to get the zebra challenge underway, we're definitely going to need a lot more zebra. So it, making like multiple little herds that are kind of like in the village, really good idea. Yay, Dizzy, you have now matured. I'm going to put you on contraceptive so we don't have to worry about inbreeding. Uh, and then when you get a little older, we'll look for a good mate for you. Maybe Nintendo. That would be good. Oh, hey, Chips, <laughs> darling. <laughs> oh, and Chips the girl, it's good to see you tonight. Oh, look at how many more people we have over here now, guys. <gasps> this is fantastic. We just needed to open the new path. Yes. Maybe we'll finally have people go on our tour because we haven't had a single person actually take our tour yet. I bet if we put some water over here, we could lure people to do it. Oh, we're in, oh, cheetah, oh, the cheetah, the cheetah aged up. Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, JC, or JVACK, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> A fun raid. Hi, guys. If some of you guys have a... Oh, hey, Dagger. Thank you so much. <laughs> For your two-month streak, too. Okay, hang on. I've got to take care of some fighting cheetah. Don't be alarmed. But thank you guys so much for the raid. If you guys could, can you throw out some giraffes or some honks to say hello to everybody? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> We're having a really good night. Uh, we're celebrating, as the title says, something pretty special. The love of my life and I are going to be getting married. Um, he's fantastic and amazing, and I love everything about him. Uh, and we're also taking care of Cheetah and Zebra, and I can't think of... And we had a baby albino giraffe born. Where are you, Honor? We named him Honor. I thought it was a girl, but he is a boy. And he could he could be named Joy. Okay, that's that's this is our albino Zebra as they say in some countries. We have some cactus climbing spring brock somewhere around here. Oh, there he was. He looks just like a little, just like a little zebra if you're not squinting carefully enough. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. And thank you for saying hello and stopping by for a raid. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, all right. So let's come over and take care of these cheetah really quickly. Uh, I'm gonna check their genes. And thank you guys so much for joining our adventures. We've been building up an amazing zoo, often theming it around our Nintin Zoo themes. Uh, well, or as you can see from Zuko and Azula being in here from Avatar, because that is my absolute favorite show ever. Uh, let's go ahead and put Azula and Zuko into the Trade Center. And then we're gonna go ahead and release Spitfire, I think, because they all have fantastic genes. But hopefully their parents will calm down now that we have done that. Patches is 11, so I think one of the two, either Azula or Zuko, will soon reign over this is the fire desert temple that we have in the dry, dry desert. But thank you guys so much for the raid. <laughs> and let's go ahead and let me see if I can find... There's Honor. I just want to look at his fluffy ossicones for a second. Oh my gosh. I love Avatar too. And yeah, it's been it's been an awesome week. I can't believe this. I'm just so happy to share the happiness with you guys. Isn't that the best? You don't really want anything or need anything. You just want to share like how happy you are with everyone. Oh. All right, let me have I'm out of water, so I'm going to need to get some water soon. Do we have anybody in the... Oh, we don't have anybody in the Jeep yet. Look at all the... No, get out of the way. Oh, no, baby. <gasps> Are you okay? <gasps> you guys, look. We have another security goat. <laughs> another albino springbrook. Another female albino springbrook. So it is actually the second security goatette. What should we name her? We need to give her a name that represents her future at defending the zoo. Her cousins in our Jurassic World Evolution series defend the park from dinosaur escapes after all. 
And thank you so much. <laughs> yes, the potatoes. Oh, thank you so much, JV. <laughs> JV, sorry. <laughs> my, I, I still have like stars spinning around my head from the very idea of getting married. Dino, <laughs> Sheriff, Radar. Those are all really cute names. Not to be dramatic, but I would die, die for him. <laughs> Starstruck. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Scurry goat. Okay, scurry goat's pretty cute. Yeah, a few of you guys are saying dino. So we'll go ahead and we're going to name her um, Dino Dasher. Because she dreams of being like her security goat cousins. Who... Oh! Is to be a mating with Mario? I think she is! I... Don't know if it took, it didn't take. Okay, so Tabia, also known as Princess Pear. I forgot to change her name. So this is Princess Pear, and she is the healthy gold star uh, gorilla that we actually got for our man, Mario. This is Mario. He is my, okay, don't tell the others. And he, okay, Dizzy, don't take this personally, but Mario is currently my favorite gorilla because this is our boy, our old man, Mario. I don't know if he can actually have any more kids. He may be trying to have more babies, but he has already fathered many, many children. And Mario is currently going on 95.7 years. <laughs> He's our 95 year old <laughs> uh, gorilla. So yeah, he's doing good. I think that he might want some new toys. So we'll give him some new toys pretty soon. He really is a legend, Wormla, Wormala. He really, really is. All right, and Panya? No, Panya, you, uh, oh, you're about to mature, not mate. Okay, that's fine. We've got a lot of cheetah to take care of. Oh, and yeah, oh, you guys talking about our ship name? Uh, Chips and I have had a ship name for quite a while, and it's Cherry. So, like, cheerful, like cheery, uh, C-H-E-R-I, kind of like cherries and cheerfulness. <laughs> but yeah, a long time ago, um, some some of the community made up that ship name and it's it's fun because it's cheerful. It's cheery. Alright, our cheetah are about to mature. And so what we're gonna work on next is we're actually going to make that really cool farmland that I have been thinking about that's gonna look like the zebra. The zebra. I belong to this little village and we'll expand the village quite a bit. I actually like the idea of coming in and maybe moving things around. So that the village, so that like people might be able to walk through the village. And maybe we can even get to the point. Oh, look at the little albino baby. Ostriches run across the dry, dry desert. But we might even be able to get to the point where we can move the Jeep tour and have a second stop. So people can take the Jeep tour around the 100 year chirping cheetah centennial pyramid, which would be amazing. All right, let me come over here. Oh, and thank you guys. Yeah, Cherry. Cheery. And the cherry emoji is, has always represented that, which is really fun. So we definitely need to get a lot more zebra. If I'm going to have... Oh, and the cheetah are starting to mature. Do they have... They don't really have the best genes. So I'm going to go ahead and release her to the wild. Here we go. What about this guy? He has got really, really good genes. So you, my boy... Are gonna pop into the trade center. Uh, actually, before we pop him into the trade center, this cheetah was actually born in the Desert Temple of Spices, and we forgot to name him. So if you guys have any spice names, let me see how many siblings he has. We must have been distracted when he was born. He is Cumin and Saffron's children. Or, hmm. Actually, I think we'll go ahead and just release all of them, because I forgot we have Ginger Pepper and Thyme already. And they're all really healthy. So I think we'll go ahead and release all of this litter. So hang in there, friends. Because then we can use the points to be able to get more zebra. Which is very important. Alright, and I don't want them to fight. So that's why we're paused really quickly. These zebra, they age up and the first thing they want to do is turn around and smack their parents in the face. Though actually what I see happen is that their parents start fighting. They're like, the kids are too old. Get them out of here. No, you. No, you. 
Oh, and you guys had such wonderful names for the spices. I promise we'll give the future spice babies more names. All right. Wonderful. Now we have more conservation credits. And we're going to work on getting more zebra in here. That sounds like the thing to do. Oh, and there's some overcrowding. Oh, calm down, you guys. Calm down. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oi. No fighting. Why is your guys' nutrition so low? I'm going to have to make sure that, like, they're being fed. Let's see. Kuyoka. Are you fighting? No, again, it's the parents that are fighting. This is interesting. I don't think these zebra are being fed as often as they should be. I'm gonna call a keeper over here. Wait, what? It won't call a keeper. Do I not have a keeper, like, assigned to this exhibit? Uh, one second, friends. Hey, the ostrich! Batwoman Barbara finished researching the ostriches. That woman is a machine. <laughs> she is going to save our zoo. All right, let me make sure that we have the pinecone pavilion. Yep, and there should be a keeper available. Like assigned to it. Pinecone pavilion. Pinecone pavilion. Oh, we need more keepers, guys. <laughs> no, 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 this person has plenty of energy. Keeper Beth. Hey, oh, Beth is still here. Now, where is she off to? Let me go ahead and pick her up. Beth, are you coming? Okay, I can't put her in the exhibit. Oh! Uh -huh. So, friends, when you redo your paths, you may want to make sure you, you have access to the door. <laughs> oh, whoops. All right, let's just save that. Look at that crowd of people. I want those people to start walking over here. So let's get the zebra over here. Yeah. Yeah, having access to the door just might help with our overall goal of um, getting people in there to take care of the animals. Just maybe. Uh-oh. Pangolin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> Hello, Cyrodiil. Thank you so much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. <laughs> Apologies. I was just noting the usual pangolin panic as the pangolins roll to their doom. <laughs> because pangolins are so dramatic. Yes, and Rain is expecting another zebra cult. That's for full. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Cyrodiil. Let me actually add your egg in over here too. Because we're about to really redo this area. I'm pretty excited. All right. So, Cyrodiil. There we go. Thank you so much for joining us with your Twitch Prime. I'm so excited to see where our zoo will expand while your egg roosts and begins to hatch into a strange chicken. All right, let's see. And let's come down. So what I'm thinking, guys, is that we'll actually make like two paths. So then people can come. Hmm. Let me try something out. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like... Bear with me. You know me. I like to try really organic, funky shapes. But I'm going to actually make like a little spot here. Oh, the Bengal tiger has matured. Yeah, I like that. No, I don't. I'm just trying stuff out, trying to figure out what we're going to do here. Okay, so if our Bengal tiger matured, let's see, our little boy, he's got okay genes, but not the best. So I'm going to go ahead and release him to the wild. Do we have any other tigers? I didn't even know we had tiger cubs. Colette and Ghost had, oh my gosh, good gravy. Friends, look at the name of this tiger cub. <laughs> look at his name. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Adhira <laughs> Nanumu. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, thank you Raven Silver Sea for continuing with your gift sub. Oh, I hope that, yeah, there we go. Oh wait, hey, what? Oh, Susie, thank you so much for subscribing. 
<laughs> Raven Z, thank you for continuing with your gift sub. That should have had a little announcement. All right, this really cool guy we're gonna go ahead and release to the wild. What a cool name he's got. And then let me get you to your eggies really quickly. And then I think I'm gonna get some tea up and going after that. And we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do over here. I think I'll go ahead and build the zebra section first. And then we're gonna build like some gardens, a lot of places for guests to rest. I wanna turn this into kind of like a riverside walk sort of thing, but really wild. Like fill it with all sorts of rocks and fill it with all sorts of um, planks. It might be really cool to kind of take this boardwalk over here right over here that's attached to this building i actually kind of want to take these pieces and clone and copy them and make it so that guests could actually like walk on a secondary boardwalk up along the cheetah if they wanted to and maybe over we could try to build like a um i wonder if i could put it like a shop over the water so they could come and like go to a little floating shop that would be really cool i would love that so we'll try that out <laughs> All right. Oh, no. It's serious injury. Ghost. No, we didn't get his kids out soon enough. So his kids bopped him. Honestly, these guys are so rude. They grow up and the first thing they do is, oh, my good. Oh. Um, hmm. All right. Okay. I see. Interesting. Excellent. Fascinating. <laughs> We're definitely going to need to continue to revamp how we have laid out, um, laid out the beginning of our zoo, I think, friends. Um, there's an overcrowding problem. That's right, Ren. This time it's not with the flamingos. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to work on that. Let me get the eggies in before I forget. And we're going to add in, let's add more eggies in over here and we'll use them to decorate. All right. And then I'm going to have the game going. Let me grab these eggies. Raven! There we go. And then, yeah, we got Cyrodiil. And then Raven Silver Sea. Oh, see, having you up. Raven Silver Sea. Yay! Two months! <laughs> thank you so much for continuing with your gift sub. And then Susie, thank you so much. Susie Kaputz. Actually, both of you guys sound like you would be perfect over with our floating. <gasps> Monsoon's about to have her baby! Over with our little floating shop we're gonna make, so I'm gonna... Monsoon! I think she wanted some attention for the baby, guys. What do you think? I don't think that, I don't think our little safari that we struggled so much over is ever, ever, ever going to actually have people in it. <laughs> I know, right, Raven? If people were actually in this Jeep, they would be having a front row seat to a zebra giving birth, which would be amazing. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and while she gives birth... I'm gonna grab some more tea and I'm gonna go give my fiance a kiss on the forehead or something because, wow, he actually asked me to marry him. He wants to marry me. Okay, I'm gonna get some tea and some kisses. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Nightbot, the tea is almost ready. Oh my gosh, and Pimba is about to have more babies. Holy cow. And we've got hungry OGs. There's so much happening. All right, so how, how, we had, oh, the albino. The albino is Nimbus. He is our male uh, alpha who watches over everybody, actually. A sub was gifted. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Oh, on. Thank you so much. A gift your sub. Oh, second bite. You've got a subby egg again. I think again or for the first time. In any case, second bite, let me add you in here too. Let's get you over on the farm because we're going to be expanding this farm quite a bit. Um, second bite, let's let's tuck you right over here because I think I'm actually going to make it so the path... Oh, hey! Can you thank you? A very delicious celebration to us both. I am... Oh, oh, that's so cute. Look at that adorable little cupcake. Thank you so much. I am so excited. It has been... So amazing and so busy. And second bite, here you go. Thanks, On. Oh, thank you again, On. One of our wonderful community Yoshis. <laughs> All right, so, oh my gosh. All right, um, let me pour my tea because it's finally finished. And, oh, Dino Dasher is about to mature, yes. All right, and when Dino Dasher matures, I may put her on contraceptives for a second. Who died? Oh, a giant panda. Poor little one. Um, yeah, when she matures, I may put her on contraceptives so that she doesn't mate with her father. And how many zebra do we have now? How many of our zebra have given birth? Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, let's see. Monsoon did. Tempest and Rain are both pregnant. Fantastic. Chirp the cheetah. <gasps> Chirp is... Oh. Chirp! Chirp is getting ready for another round of babies, even though she is 11. So she and her mate are really doing fantastic. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Chirp is now expecting offspring. Uh, and the zebra are doing well. How far are we on the challenge now? Oh, hey, we have a reward. Sweet. All right, 50 cc. So we're only at four four babies and we're gonna need a lot more for the outfit um oh and patches just gave birth <gasps> patches at 12 <laughs> you guys okay i'm gonna pause for a second because there is a freaking lot happening here we need more fire names uh for nia or excuse me hang on one second let me show you guys oh 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 and thank you so much for gifting a sub to odishan just in time for Dino Dasher to mature and and welcome it all in. Oh, and thank you, Mandy. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, too. And this is actually for the fire temple, you guys. So we're going to need some fire-themed names. And Odashan, I'm going to have you come over. <gasps> People are coming. Yes, people have come to my taco stand. I'm so happy. Odashan, I'm going to have you actually. Ooh. Ooh, that would be kind of fun to have you go in there. Hey, SM White, welcome. Welcome to our adventures. Odishan, I'm going to put you over here because I think we're going to work a lot on making this more walkable and like a garden with peafowl in it, which will be really fun. So, Odishan. Oops. Odishan. 
Thanks, On! Our, our wonderful, wonderful Yoshi. Alright. Ember. Ooh, Magma and Spark. I like Spark. That's a good name. Alright, let's name these ones. Fuel. Kindle, yes. I think all of these little ones... I think because their parents are so old, Phoenix and Patches are so old, I wonder if that's actually having an effect. Because they've had a ton of gold level children. But now, all of a sudden... Phoenix and Patches have really unhealthy children with bad immunity. I don't know what happened. Because Patches is... Patches is not related to Phoenix, right? Let me double check. I didn't actually, like, release... There's her mate, Phoenix. They're both 12 and they've had gold star children. So I think that this litter is unhealthy, maybe because they're older. But we'll have Spark. Let's get Spark down in here. And then, yeah, Spark is really cute. And then Burn, let's see. Uh, heat, Sparky. Also, Ember, I like the name Ember a lot. Spark, Ember. And we have a little male. Uh, for, how about Flame? I do like Flame. And we'll let these three little ones go to the wild when they age up. Because I don't know why they didn't turn into the healthiest cheetah. But they're, well, they're not healthy enough because they have zero immunity. But we'll work it out. Thank you guys so much for helping me with the names. And look at how many more people we have in the dry, dry desert now that we have that new path. Admire my giraffes, friends! Also, I'll put down some education boards soon. The more educated you make your guest, the more they really, really, really start giving you uh, a lot more money. All right, Dino Dasher's matured. Let me put her on contraceptives. All right, and let's work on getting those chi or those uh, zebra in here. Because at this rate, we're never going to have our zebra in here, and I really need to get more zebra. So we're going to do... I want the zebra to be able to come like across the waterway and kind of like forge over here. We're just going to put this wooden barrier down as like a temporary outline. Oh, hey, SMY! Thank you so much! <laughs> Welcome to our adventures. Let me add you over here, too. We'll put you in the zebra exhibit somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where, but we will add you in, my friend. All right. Welcome. I'm so excited that your egg has joined us. One day it will hatch into a glorious strange chicken, and then a beautiful Gouldian finch, and one day a phoenix, which I'm pretty excited about. Our first phoenix, like, those will be something special. All right. Princess Pear is about to mate with Mario again. He's still alive! But I don't think he's going to be... He is 96.5 years old. But I don't think that they're ever going to be able to have children. I think that he has reached the point of what they call sexual sterility. Where he is no longer able to make babies. But that's okay. Oh, and Tempest, the plain zebra just had her baby. What? There's so many babies I can hardly keep up now. Also, we need more, um, we definitely, definitely need to have some things cleaned up. All right, let's see. Let me check in. Imagine if I had slow aging on Mario, right? I feel like Mario would live forever. By the way, how many of you guys have heard about the new Planet Zoo DLC that's coming out? And which of the four new animals are you most excited about? Because I can tell you... What I know the majority of our community is going to be flipping their baskets about. All right. Maybe I can add in another little herd of zebra. I think I, I could over here. Because five I don't think is enough. So maybe we'll do like... But I kind of want to make people walk across here. And like the zebra will walk across here. And then maybe you have the people walk across at another bridge. All of them? The Arctic wolf polar bears! Oh, Dizzy, are you excited about the goats, too? The reindeer! I want to make a huge herd of reindeer. I want to make Ice Ice Outpost to complement the fact that we have, you know, Dry Dry Desert. And I play a lot of Mario Kart. And I want to have the biggest herd of reindeer I can manage. I want to basically try to make, like, a herd of maybe two or three hundred. Uh, has anyone tried doing, like, a wildlife scenario yet where you have prey and predators mixed in? Can that even work at all?
because it would be really kind of fun to see if you could like get a balance going somehow. Oh, Mandy, yeah, yeah, I have a video about it on the main channel that overviews the animals and a whole bunch of cool facts about them if you want to learn more about it. Let's see. All right. Don't overthink it, Siri. You're good. Don't mind me, guys. Darling? Don't mind me, guys. One moment. <laughs> don't worry he's just playing shoot butts you gotta you gotta let your friends know when you're playing shoot butts i've learned over the years you gotta let them know that you're gonna get them uh all right let's see let's get a null barrier over here because we're gonna do a bunch of rocks along here and then let's do a little fencing do i need to i don't think i need to make it nearly so big <laughs> but that's okay all right, we'll do a little fencing right here. Yeah, it would be real, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about walrus, you guys. It would be really cool to see walrus, but I'm actually super hopeful, because uh, the pack's only gonna be $10. Like 10 bucks for four whole new animals, which is very, very, very exciting in my humble opinion. <laughs> And it makes me super hopeful for like future packs uh, being pretty prolific uh, and easy to pick from because like maybe some of these animals and maybe like the Christmas themed items really just don't jazz some people and they're like I could I could pass this up but then maybe they put in kangaroos and somebody's like get out of my way take my money. <laughs> so I'm excited about seeing like how quickly the DLC is here. And then I'm also excited about seeing where it will, where it'll take us. Also, I think we could probably have multiple zebra crossings and exhibits if we wanted, but I think we'll start with one and see what we think. All right. And the spring rock are gonna fight, but we'll worry about that later. Oh, Starry Rose, I would check for females. I, I'm okay with one female giraffe right now. Because I don't really want to have multiple giraffes just yet. <gasps> Colette's about to have offspring! Yay! I would love platypus. I really think that they're so unique and it would be so much fun. They're much smaller uh, than a lot of the animals, but I would love to see platypus. What else would I really like to see? Kangaroos would be fascinating. Um, aww. Colette and Ghost really get along very well. How many babies do you guys think she's gonna have? Guessing two? Hey, Anna? Any? Yeah, guessing two. Oh, Arctic foxes. I would love to see any fox. That would be so nice. You know, I would love to see aardwolves because aardwolves are actually insect eaters. And they're really, really, really fascinating. I really love aardwolves. They take good care of their babies. They live in termite mounds, for crying out loud. So that would be really fun. We've got one baby, you guys! Ooh, iron and silver. We've already got some name suggestions. Two! Two babies! Wow, I mean, I guess she's an expert at this now, because she just popped those cubs out, and she's up and at it. Oh, hey! Vera Atibu! Oh my gosh, hello and welcome! <laughs> All right, we're gonna get Silver, the little girl, and then we'll go ahead and name uh, this little one. She's also a gold star little girl. What do you guys think we should go ahead and name her? And Pharaoh, let me go ahead and get your egg ready. We actually happen to have a fantastic, uh, a fantastic pyramid that I will be happy to add you in. Ingot? Oh, I love the name Ingot. So ingot and silver. There we go. 
for our two little girls. And then Pharaoh, thank you so much for joining us. I was so excited. Let's get your egg in here. Now we've got the babies. Gosh, I'm so scatterbrained tonight because I'm getting married. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm very scatterbrained about that. But Pharaoh, let's get you on top of the fire temple for our cheetah because I think that would be really cool. The fire temple so far has proven itself to be very worthy. And so I think that this would be a good place for your egg to roost and warm up as it prepares to hatch one day into a strange chicken. Atimu. There we go. Welcome, Pharaoh. I'm glad we have a desert for you to be part of. All right. And then, yeah, I made this way too big. Do you guys do that too? Like, do you ever find yourself just making your exhibits way too big from the beginning? Because that actually is what makes my animals struggle the most, is that I just tend to make my exhibits too big, like, from the get-go. And then they actually really struggle as a result. I always think that my animals will appreciate it, and actually it just makes things harder on them. Oh, hey, Pokemon, you do that too? My cat, no. <laughs> I, I'm a little curious about that, my cat. Oh my gosh, Nightbot, I need to update you. You're still talking about the pandas. And yes, it is cool that pandas have been around as their species for about 3 million years. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about zebra. And I really wish they would add in more of the mutations for the colors that zebra can come in, other than just albino. I would love to see some of those spotty zebra. That would be fun. Oh, Starry Rose, it's on PC. This is a PC game. It's a pretty hefty PC game. Be prepared if you get into it. All right, and let's actually try borrowing something old, something new from our... Let's go ahead and duplicate. Ha ha! I don't have to put down these freaking rocks again. We can just casually kind of slide these suckers right over here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Nice. I love this tool. If you guys aren't using the duplicate tool, you're really making life harder on yourself than it needs to be. I promise ya. It helps so freaking much. There. Excellent. No zebra escapes there. Yeah, I would love more variation in the colors we already have, and I would not be surprised if that happens in updates. Did you guys see how huge the 1.1 update is? I did a whole video covering that and the DLC yesterday, and I could not believe it. Like, the more I scrolled down the list of things that they were giving, like, for free in the first big update, like the first big, big 1.1 update, I mean, family trees, slower aging for your animals so you don't have to like worry about them just dropping dead so quickly. And uh, like there's gonna be new interactions so they're improving the pack dynamics. Uh, Rain's about to have her baby. Why are they all giving birth on the track for crying out loud? I know, yes I'm water. Oh yes I'm water, it's so good to see you. We'll check in and see how you're doing in just a second. <laughs> I know the family tree is going to be so useful. I'm really going to love to see that because I don't know exactly like how many kids Mario has had because your zoos start to get so big. It's really hard to keep track of that stuff. Oh, the crime maps. Yeah, Sakura Stellion. The crime maps are going to be fantastic. <laughs> Another albino zebra. You guys. Yes. We have another albino zebra and farmer cat. I know, right? I jumped for joy with the with the announcement of the family tree too. I legitimately didn't think that the family tree could even be done. So learning that they were able to add that into the code just made me so happy. You guys, we have another little boy. We have, a, this is perfect. We have a new male, depending on when he grows up. And hey, non-binary, welcome. Non-binary, welcome, welcome. So we have another little boy. What should we go ahead and name this little one? There we go. 
Tsunami? Typhoon? Oh. On, thank you so much for gifting I Love Siri and Cats a sub. I really appreciate that. And I think that, I think that, um, ooh, I like Thunder a lot. We're gonna go ahead and name this little guy Thunder. Because I could see that he's got like a bit of a rumble to him. <gasps> There's another albino one. That's Nia. That's right. That's right. I knew Nia was already there. And Nia is really good too. She's got such a beautiful name. And I love Syrian cats. There you go. Thank you so much, On. You really are, are Yoshi. And I, I say that in, in like a hopefully very like good, good way. Let's put I love Syrian cats. Let's put you over here. Because I really think we're going to transform this into a walkway filled with peafowl at some point in the future. There we go. Thanks, Odd. Also, I love cats too, which is really fun. <laughs> the other day, Chips and I were talking about one of my little stuffed animals. Um, not this one. Here's my little, the one I got from the Planet Zoo crew when we went to San Diego. By the way, you guys, Chips said he realized he wanted to get married when we were on the San Diego Planet Zoo trip. And I told him, you realize I'm going to be loyal to that game forever and ever and ever and ever now, right? And he's like, well, I would have thought about it anyway. But because we had such a good time on that trip and because so many things went wrong, but we still had a fantastic time. And because we made it into something amazing, no matter what happened, no matter what obstacle got thrown at us, no matter what went wrong, we just kind of looked at each other and we're like, we got this and we made it right and we had such a good time and then i mean i guess somewhere in between all of those magical moments of of like being around the giraffes and speaking to the people in the frozen zoo and interviewing the staff and feeding galapagos tortoises i guess somewhere in there he just realized it so i know oh animal fan now i'm making you teary oh thank you dr guinea pig so uh, sometimes people will ask me, and I hope this isn't too like random, uh, but sometimes people will ask me like, oh, you guys, Princess Pear! No, that's great, ah, uh -huh. that's great that you're growing up, but Princess Pear is expecting offspring. Mario's 97. Okay, I need you guys to remind me, 97 plus 116 plus three, is 19. So in year 119, Mario is going to be 100. Are we giving this man, he's gonna get the best food. I don't care how expensive it is anymore. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna give this man grade three food. He's getting the best. Like forget all this other nonsense. Let's go ahead, hang on. We've got to celebrate Mario being a father. He's, he's about to become a dad at, let's just clarify this. He's about to become a father at 97 years old. <laughs> oh, and I love Syrian cats. I know, I love having your egg over in the village. That's gonna be so fun. Yeah, I know. I don't think, I don't think, I mean, look, I mean, he looks a little smug if you ask me. 90 freaking seven. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even 100% fertile. He's not even 100% longevity. And hey, my, my Kelly Dawn, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. Uh, I want to stop everything for just a moment and I'll tell you more cute like chip stories in just a second. But let's come in and fix all of his toys. I want to I wanna reset all of his little enrichment toys, his block of ice, he is bored of some of his toys, his cardboard box. And I wanna make sure he's like a thousand percent happy, our little old man. And he's bored of his toy enrichment. So I think we can actually find out like what they're bored of. If I come over, isn't there a good spot like habitat contents? Here we go. Actually, he loves all of the current enrichments. I think he just wants more. So let's give him some new toys. Like, I know he doesn't look a day over 96. Oh my gosh, my cat. And thank you, oh, Chip of Mint. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited. Hey, oh, Geekism, hi. How are you doing tonight? I was literally just watching your zebras uh, earlier today while I was editing some videos. I was like, man, 
what do I want to watch? And I was like, hey, Geekism has his zebra challenge, which you're getting along a lot faster because I think you're not getting distracted by 97-year-old, like, gorillas who need more toys. <laughs> but our boy Mario is going to be a dad at 97 with Princess Pear. He outlived Princess Peach and his great-grandchildren. I don't know. Guys, wouldn't it be kind of cool if Mario was glitched and he just stayed alive forever? I would almost pay money for that. You know what I mean? I mean, if he passes away, I'm going to have to build like a gigantic pipe uh, of some kind with a piranha plant in it in sandbox mode and add it in in his honor. Here's a tool puzzle feeder. Will that be good for him? For enrichment? It helps with food enrichment. Here's a suspended forger. How about a small ball? Does he want a ball? He's a little happier with a ball. Give me just a second, friends. I want to make sure that our boy Mario... Here's a mirror mobile. Is he, is he ready for the mirror mobile again? No, he has one somewhere and he's bored of it. The musical keyboard! We took it out a while ago. Okay, he wants the musical keyboard. Does he want more boxes? He doesn't want more boxes. Aw, okay, let's try getting rid of a couple of his toys. Sorry, Mario. But maybe if we get rid of a couple of his toys, then he'll want them again in the future. Okay. And then a sprinkler. Let's put a sprinkler in. There. That should do it. Okay. Primates seem to want so much toy enrichment. Oh, yeah. So your orangutans have everything and they're still not happy? That must be it, because I feel like Mario has got a lot in his life, um, but he's just still not entirely happy. So hopefully, uh, like, it'd be really cool if they added in more toys, actually, that we could give them, because that would be really fun. All right, so let's see what's going on. Yeah, right? Right, love cats? Mario's so old, he already knows all his toys. Maybe he's like the crotchety old man. The one who's like, get off my lawn. I'm old now and nothing makes me happy. <laughs> Maybe that's his problem. <laughs> so his problem is just that, like, he's a fuss bucket. That's probably what's going on. Does he need more female? Oh, Arita, that might actually be part of it. He may actually need more female socialization. Because we have two girls in there for him right now. But that may not be enough. He has a couple daughters that I have in storage that we could put in, but just put them on contraceptives. So you know what? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead because I think he normally wants like four or five females. That is probably exactly what his problem is. Here, I'm going to add in one of his daughters. And then we'll just have to remember to try to rush in there. And put her on contraceptives. Blah, he says. Uh, yeah, Bernika. That's one of his daughters. And let's just get him, like, you know what? Let's look for another old lady gorilla for just a moment. I know I'm supposed to be doing zebra, as they say. But I'm, I'm, my mind is already blasted because I've got engaged today. <laughs> or, like, yesterday. And... I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, oh, wait, 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 we need female. Let's just be nice. Let's just find, like, a nice little old lady who doesn't need much in the world and just kind of wants, see, she's 22. Why not just let Thema come on in? Let's just, let's, let's accept Thema. Wait, actually, let's go with, well, you know what, here, we're going to go with the, the, the cheapest female who doesn't really have much going on. Wait, no, not one from the Frontier Zoo. We're going to get the first one from somebody else's zoo. Who clearly... Oh, I don't have enough storage space. But I want to, I wanna like, give a nice little grandma a home. Does that make sense? Also, I have these ringtail lemurs. I'm going to quick trade these two really quickly. Which seems silly because I haven't actually... There we go. Yeah! Okikism, thank you! Yes! <laughs> Yes, I, I just got engaged um, a couple days ago. Uh, and also Rima, no, 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 here. None of, none of that, please. All right, let's go ahead and pause for just a second. 
I've gotten distracted by Mario again, but it's not every day you get a 100 year old gorilla. Uh, and I, I kind of want to adopt an old female now to just give him like a companion. All right, and let's actually, hmm. We have, oh, honey bear. Oh, you guys, let's put honey bear in. I totally forgot we have had an empty exhibit in the 100 acre woods for days now. So we'll put her in there. I have way too many pandas. Here, I'm gonna put a couple of the little baby pandas in. Back into, not the flamingos. Don't throw the panda in with the flamingos, put the panda in panda paradise. There we go. Is there room now? Not yet. If the girls aren't enough, nothing is. <laughs> My cat, you might as well give them a giraffe feeder and let them figure it out. My cat, I love that. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh, and that's my problem. I had a couple of the ostriches. Let me trade them for, oh there, I can actually trade the ostriches for one. I'm gonna do it because somebody was nice enough to give us healthy gold level ostriches a while back. So it makes me really happy to think about, uh, why do I have a couple pangolin in storage? They shouldn't be there. But it makes me really happy to think about returning those ostriches back out to help people out. All right, now we have some room. Oh, thank you, Nightbot. I'll have a quick sip of tea. Oh, and thank you, guys. <laughs> Brianna, I love that. They can judge the, the younger gorillas together. Okay, let's try to find how long a gorilla is supposed to live for. Pimba, can you tell me? Oh my gosh. Oh, and hey, Chip the girl. Yeah, we're going to find somebody for Mario to complain with. So the usual group is up to four females and one male, uh, which is probably why he's fussy. So we already have three females in here and we'll get him a fourth female and that will probably make him feel better because he'll be like, there, this is how it should be. Uh, let's see. We've got Pimba. Barika is already on contraceptive, so we don't need to worry about her mating with her dad or at least not successfully. Uh, and let's find an old female, just cranky kids these days. Ah, you get off my lawn. <laughs> I know, right, Ren? He has lived like triple his lifespan. All right, so let's see. We're, we're looking for just old lady here. Oh, geez. Wow, there's not a lot of female Western gorillas out there. Just fussy old lady. Here she is. And we're going to move her in. She's only 22. He's kind of robbing the cradle. <laughs> Oh, hey, Vegetarian Panda! Hi! Gosh, what a cool name, and welcome to the adventures! Oh, hey, Dex the Bean, and Ash, I'm so, Ash Feather, I'm, I'm so glad you enjoy the streams. I love them, too. I really do. And thank you so much to you guys, and anybody, just you guys for being here, but especially, like, our patrons, too. Because you guys know how much work the main channel is, and I just would not have the ability to even do this without our fantastic patron crew. I just wanted to say that because it's true. I was working my bahukas off uh, this morning and was so worried I would be too tired to spend some time streaming with y'all. But here we are. All right. Oh, Queen Soup's going to have more babies. I'll have to take a picture and tag little Simsy on Twitter. All right. It's really ugly, but it's our rough draft. And we're going to make it work for a secondary zebra exhibit. Let's get the crossing down here. Uh, I think I need to add zebra in here before I can actually see, actually see like the climbable area. But my idea is to make like a climbable bridge out of rocks for the zebra. Kind of like how we made this big area for the flamingos and they love it. And we made that out of rocks. So it's not actually terrain. And then it'll be like the little spot where the zebra can stampede across uh, the river. Gingerland you, I just realized here you're adding a zebra crossing to your zoo. Yeah, I am. I'm really excited about it. Also, the animals will fight due to overcrowding. Why? Why? What is going on in here? Hmm? Who's fussing? Why, why the fussing? 
Oh, Thunder, did you grow up? No, you couldn't have grown up. That's too... It's really hard to tell the difference between Nia... Oh, oh it's because Nia grew up. That's fine. Nia, she's perfect. She's our albino gold female. We're going to plop her over here. Okay, let's get the path working and we're going to plop her over there. And she's going to be our little test zebra. Our test zebra, as one might say. All right, can I... Oh, please, 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 please. No, I really want to... Let me, let me, let me just go between these two houses. It's perfect. It makes a little alleyway. Come on. Oh, come on. It'll be awesome. Look, you want to let me do this game. You really want to let me do this because it'll be a perfect little alleyway. It's making me want to sing like, yes! Yes! <laughs> the paths make me struggle so much. I'm excited for just this alleyway, guys. Because this means, like, I could put down some vases over here. We could get some drapes going on. I could start singing Street Rat, which would be kind of fun. All right, let's plop this one. Invalid destination. Why? Why would this be an invalid destination? Does it not have a habitat yet? It's incomplete. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Wait, no, I don't see. Hmm? I must have broken it somewhere. Did I break it somewhere? It is... Okay, let's try the fence. The fencing must be broken somewhere. Did I miss a spot? Right here! <laughs> okay, I missed a spot right there. I gotcha. Alright, right here to... Right there. Now it's ready. Okay, zebra crossing. All right, I'm gonna name that habitat. Thank you guys, I'm saving. Saving, saving, saving. Thank you for using your honks to alert me. I am particularly distracted of late. All right, come here, Nia. Get out of this. Life is not that bad, zebra. I'll give you a new toy. Do you want a new toy? This looks like a cry for help. I shall help. All right, let's see. Where is zebras? Common. Common zebras. <laughs> no, wait, yeah. Common warthog? Uh, this is... Oh, what species of zebra are you again? Let's see. What species of zebra is this again, guys? Planes! Okay, there we go. We should have everything researched about them. Do they have... Are you fully happy, Tempest? Other than the terrain and the hard shelter thing. Uh, and the food. Ah, oh, food enrichment. The zebras say, do please give us some food enrichment. I'm on it. Let's actually... Oh, let's put the little small barrel down in the garden over here. So it looks like they're going to knock it around the little garden. I love that idea. Like they're going to raid the garden to come and eat in it. That's perfect. All right. They want a little bit more. Oh, hey, ride. Hello. Welcome to our adventures. They want a little bit more food. So I'm actually going to have them come and raid this garden then, which I think would be adorable. So we're going to hide this kind of in the building like so. Master of Chaos, there. And now we should be able to grab Nia and move her. All right. Oh, second by, I could have just typed zebra into the search bar. I'm clearly a little tired because <laughs> that didn't even occur to me. <laughs> All right, so there we go. We're going to get her moved over here. And then while we get her moved over, let's actually grab the desert rocks. Biome desert and i'm just gonna make like a cool crossing there there we go just kind of alternate between the two and we're gonna make this work somehow i didn't plan on making the bridge like quite so uniform either so I'm going to try to make it a little bit more sketchy in some spots. So it's like they have to, like, risk it. They really have to risk it for the biscuit to be able to get to the other side. 
Leap across. There could be crocodiles in the water for all they know. Big old snappers eager to eat them. No, 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 no. Put that back. I was not done with that. All right. And let me come up and over. And then once Nia gets in here, I should be able to actually see if that's climbable space. Oh, hey, Nia. Good timing. Good night, Starry. And thank you so much. I am so happy to hear that. I hope you rest so well. Nia, are you good? Okay, she's a little fussy, but I think she's she's good. All right, let's go ahead and see if this habitat is climbable. Animal welfare. Habitat, there we go. Oh, we almost have it. Okay, I need a bigger... The traversable area is actually the water, though, so she could just go literally through the water. <laughs> but I need a bigger rock, or I need to move this rock up a little, probably. All right, let's try that. This is fun. I like making a little zebra crossing. Let me check. How'd that do? Traversable area. Select animal to show. This is zebra. Mm. That rock still didn't work. So we're going to delete that. And try again. With a bigger rock. Okay. Maybe they want their feet to be on sure ground. They're probably just going to walk through the water. But I... I daydreamed about this while I was like I took a temporary power nap today because I had so much to do for main channel this is like the busiest time of the year um I daydreamed about this while I napped oh man interesting do I need to make it a little taller huh hmm yeah the the genderless <laughs> my cat the genderless girl is waking in the depths of the waters <laughs> Oh, that girl. I swear. I have no idea what it's up to. Uh, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's the other. But fun fact, I mean, temp maybe it's the temperature. Maybe we don't have a very good, like a very stable temperature in our reward area. Because did you guys know that temperature actually does have a dramatic effect on whether or not uh, reptiles will become male or female? Not all reptiles, but that's really common with your crocodilians. I'm pretty sure most of you guys probably know that by now. Okay. They won't go across the the edges, my friends. I will unpause Alto Pilta. Uh, I was just trying to see if I could get the... Huh. Traversable area. All right. Well, you know what? That's fine. Mm, yes, exactly, Ren. And it typically the temperature shifts do tend to make it... Hey, peach leaf! I'm big on peaches. I've got peach tea right here. I love peaches. But it is really interesting because it does have a dramatic effect on if you end up with uh, male or female animals. All right. And let's make sure we add this into a work zone before I forget. This is going to be the dry, dry desert. Pangolins going down, friends. Pangolins going down. Peacefully. Peacefully. Everybody is gathered around. Oh, there we go. It was okay. It was, at, it was at the feast of the bugs. The pangolin has finished its meal. It's fine. <laughs> yes, I, I am peachy. Thank you very much. Uh, also, no, Sevilla. No, no, we don't need that. We don't. No, stop. Stop, oh. Sevilla. We're going to go ahead. Let's send you to the trade center. There we go. No. Oh, dear. She's pregnant. Oh, my. Well, can't put her in the trade center now. She's pregnant. Oh, well, that does happen from time to time. I know, it look, wasn't it a perfect little ring of pangolins, Rin? I loved it. All right, well, let's get serious, no pun intended, and focus for the last little bit to get Nia all set up because she needs to have some friends. Oh, and then we need, oh, I wonder. Okay, I'm gonna try to stick around to see if we're gonna make it to Mario's 100th birthday because that would be kind of amazing. Let's put the grazing ball feeders over here because I think that would be really fun. I'm gonna put that over there. And then I'm gonna put the herb. Oh, hey! FBC Cruz, welcome! Welcome to our adventures! We're getting ready to make a big zebra crossing, which I'm pretty excited about. And then we're gonna put the scratching post over here, because it's gonna go with. Let's pop this down. But the scratching post is actually going to go with our pokey cactus. Because that is. Oh, I love the themes that we've come up with. 
It's complete mess and it's really fun. <laughs> All right, let's see anything for food and water. We'll put a little water pipe, I think over, let's put it over here. I'm gonna hide it with a boulder or two. There we go. Hmm. Ooh, on, what are you guys talking about? And it would be so fun to have some special effects for the zebra. That's a good idea. I think that that is a really good idea. Because it would be fun to like have some special water effects. Oh, hey, Strange! Welcome! Welcome to the adventures! We're just getting ready to hopefully add in more female zebra. And we also need a good male, a good healthy male. Also, I want to see if Mario is going to make it to 100 years for a gorilla, which would be amazing. That's what we're currently working on. All right. And Caramel is about to mate again. We're going to have to do so much sorting, guys. There's a lot to take care of. <laughs> but let's go ahead and start by looking for more zebra really quickly. And let's check the ones we have in storage. So I just want to look at zebra. Plain zebra. All right. Simba, that's right. Let's go ahead and just put Simba down. He is actually a gold level zebra. Uh, I think that he would be really good to add in. Yeah, let's go ahead and put him down. And then we'll look for, I think, Barika. I don't know if she's actually had any babies yet, but we'll add her in here too. Oh, hey, Nia. Oh. All right, but we're gonna put Simba down. He's not an albino zebra, but we already have one albino male. There we go. Who names the zebra after a lion? I think Simba's a pretty cool name for him. All right, and then that's 33. Cirrus has 67% immunity, but I think she already had a baby. So we'll look into that. All right, and then let's find more plain zebras. Plain zebra, there we go. Let's take off Western Lowland Gorillas. Oh, and then I wanna be careful that we're looking for the youngest zebras. And I mean, this one's super fertile, but really sick and tiny. All right, it looks like it's mostly the Planet Zoo. <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't mean to buy this one. I double clicked on her and I bought her by accident. Well, I guess I have another zebra. That was not what I meant to do. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really funny. Be careful with double clicking, I guess. Um, wow, there are not that many female zebra out right now, friends. I'm gonna go ahead and adopt this 2000 female from Eden Zoo Samantha, because that's gonna be a really healthy one. And I think that's gonna, yeah, we could, we could always put her up for sale. I didn't mean to buy her. But we'll go ahead and get those ones added in here and then we'll have another little zebra spot and hopefully more foals on the way soon. Oh, hey, and Mist just matured. Good timing, Mist. We're going to move Mist over here as well. There we go. And let's come over and edit the barrier now. Because now I want to work on having these guys viewed through the glass by people walking by. And animals will do it if I do to overcrowding. Not much longer. Holy moly. Because we're gonna, yeah, she's gonna get moved. So that's gonna be fine. I should name a zebra chips. Oh, Aria, that would be, oh, yes! Yes! This is everything I wanted! Yes! <laughs> the zebra crossing works! And you can hear them walk across the top of it. That's so fun. I love it. Also, my camels are fighting for like dominance. Oi, you two. Stop that. Julian, don't do that. Your dad, Coco, is the one in charge. He's large and in charge, okay? Um, I'm gonna release you to the wild. There we go. All right. All right, so I'm gonna pop over and see how they're doing. They seem to be doing pretty well. Good. And then new animal, Sophia has come. And SM White, you're right over here. I'm going to move you up a little bit. 
And so I kind of like this. I kind of like having the sand on one side. Look at the zebra walk across my little crossing. Yes. And I kind of like having the grass on the other side, like they have to go across the plain in or, or like across it in order to really get nice and comfy. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, look, and people are trying to look at them. Hang on, friends. I'm going to give you a better path to see them. I promise. Let's see. Uh, do I want to do that path or let me make it bigger? Maybe, maybe I do want to do a four path. And I want to snap along barrier. Here we go. So my idea is that in between these two spots, we'll put like a little place either for people to sit and rest or a place for people to eat. There we are. One moment. Nice. And there they go. Now they can come over and they can see the zebra on this side. Uh, I don't need the camels to interbreed. Thank you. Hello. Hello. No. No, stop. No, stop. Please stop. No, get released to the wild. Away you go. No, I should have put her on the market. They're so rare. Ah, I panicked. I panicked because we were having interbreeding. <laughs> okay, I'll, I will make myself pause before that next time. Look at all the zebra go across the bridge, you guys! I'm so happy! They might go in the water, they might not. Alright, let's see. Wisp is expecting offspring! Yes! Okay. So Wisp is now expecting another baby. See, we've got we've got things going with the zebra. I think the key will just to be to start taking the offspring and kind of setting up little camps. Uh, in various areas, and I think that the size and space... Oh, the space is not big enough. Huh. I would have thought that was big enough. It's a good size. You know, it's 900 square meters. How big do they need? 500? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do need to work on donations and educations for sure. We absolutely do. I think they're fussing because they feel like it's split in two because the climbable area is, is broken. And I did just save. Thank you, guys. For each zebra. I don't know if that's for each zebra. I think it kind of scales a little bit. But we'll work on that. I do need to work on education and donations because we haven't worked on that. Oh, hey, Kirsten. Welcome. Or Kristen, welcome. Welcome to the adventures. We haven't worked on that in donkey days, and I really need to work on that. All right, Suma, stop that. No, Suma! No! Okay, oh, there we go. And hey, Wolo! Welcome! Oh my gosh, somebody has... Oh, that is so cool. I'll see Call Star. Somebody has a little Yoda emoji. That's adorable. All right, guys. I think we've done pretty good for tonight. We haven't made a lot of progress on the like on the zebra we kind of made passive progress so tomorrow we're definitely going to need to make like really focused progress but now that i kind of have the pattern down i think what i want to do is maybe make like two zebra crossings like one right here we'll make this bigger we'll make this bigger and then we might make i'm trying to figure out how we're going to do this i think we'll make a zebra crossing right here we'll make a normal path for people to cross and like enter the village in here We'll make a second temporary like zebra stable back here that we'll convert into something in the future. And if needed, we'll even make like a third zebra crossing over here to represent the great migration of earning our stripes with the zebras, which I think would be really fun. Also, how's Mario doing? Has, has that baby been born yet? I actually want to see if Mario's like 97 year old baby, <laughs> like he's 97. Princess Bear had the baby, you guys. Oh my gosh, a little girl. Oh, come here, little one. She had a little baby girl who's extremely healthy and extremely cute. And we're going to go ahead and name her, uh, let's see, Pear Tart. Little Princess Pear Tart. I can't believe that. I can't believe. Oh, Princess Apple. I like that even better. Okay, she's going to be Princess Apple, Ren. I rescind her name, Pear Tart. We'll call her Tart. 
Princess Apple Tart. Oh, she just jumped. That was amazing. But she was born for her dad was 97 when she was conceived, which is kind of amazing. Mario, where are you, buddy? He's still running about. He's doing good. He's 98 years old. We're going to have to have like a party for him for sure. Also, animals are having issues. Oh my gosh. And the zebra crossing is apparently too small by zebra standards. So we're... Hmm. The zebras have taken it into their own hooves. I have made it too small. They're going to do something about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah. The wild migration of zebra. All right. We're going to take that a lot more seriously. Puns fully intended. Uh, tomorrow when we carry on with our streaming. I will make the habitat areas bigger. I, silly me, thought I was being too dramatic, but we'll make it much bigger so that the zebra feel like they have more room. We'll do a bridge. We'll do a second zebra, like, migratory crossing that will turn into another kind of exhibit in the future. And then we'll do, like, a stable stall area and start working on building up kind of a village back here, which I think will be so cool. <laughs> this is, where are you going? It's Simba! It's Simba! You're kidding me! It's Simba! <laughs> oh my gosh! That's so hilarious! <laughs> of all of the zebra that did that, it's Simba! That's so funny! Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, that's amazing. And now he's complaining that there's not enough space on what we're like, am I gonna? Okay. All right, guys, that cinched it. You know what we're gonna add into his place? I'm gonna see if I have a blueprint yet. Do I have? Do I have? I do. I do. We have a we have pride rock. We do have pride rock. We have Pride Rock version, this version, but I, I actually really like this version, not that version. I like, I like this version a lot. It has trees. <laughs> um, so we do have Pride Rock and I don't know exactly how this is going to, you know what? The, well, let's do it. Let's do it. This is ridiculous. I'm going to do this. If they're complaining about not having enough space, they're climbing their way out. I know how to cope with this. All right, then, friends. You want a bigger habitat? I'll give you a bigger habitat. How about freaking Pride Rock right down in the middle of all this, eh? All right, let's see. This is going to be a pain in the rump. Pain in the rumpus. Do you hear me, Zebra? Pain in the rumpus to be able to surround and make any kind of cohesive look to. I'm not even going to try this, this part of the night. We're just going to surround Pride Rock now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just going to surround it with a fence. Because uh, if they can climb that, they're just going to climb, like, all the rest of it anyway. And I don't know when I'll stream tomorrow. Uh, I love Syrian cats because I, I got engaged. And so I don't know if I'm just going to, like, you know, spend the day. I, I want to stream tomorrow, absolutely. But I don't know if, like, maybe Chips and I will just get distracted and just want to spend the time together. Uh, but it'll probably be in the evening again because I do have a ton of work I need to do for the main channel as well because that is how I guess I'm gonna pay for my wedding <laughs> With adventures from the main channel. Thanks wolf quest All right, there we go Pride rock what do you think about them apples Simba? It's not an invalid destination. Thank you very much except when you miss a spot then it is Yeah, that's fine all right, all right, that's that's cool. This isn't hurting my feelings or anything. There we go. All right, there we are. I'm gonna have to replace like everything about this, but I love what we have created. We can close off this section, but open it up with like future animals. Um, maybe I can actually add more rocks and let people walk around the edge of Pride Rock because that would be useful. We'll figure it out later. For now, Simba, get down. Thank you, boy. Get on, go on, get down. 
There we go. And we'll add this rock in. So hopefully he won't do that again. And what do you guys think about it now, huh? Enough space? Now they're happy. <laughs> now they have the space they wanted. Uh, all right, thank you guys. Thank you, and I will, I will, Breezes, I will definitely tell the engagement story. Uh, I wanna make a big announcement on the main channel, sort of. By big announcement, I just wanna kind of like squee about it happily. And then, uh, oh, hey, it's, it's Clara Bear. Welcome, welcome. And then, yeah, other than that, come on people, there's another path you can, what are you, what? What? Why? They have excellent welfare. That's right, that's right. Put your signs down and get out of here. Don't you see Pride Rock? Okay, now they're feeling better. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right guys. Thank you so much. What wild, absolutely hilarious adventures we've had. And hopefully we will go on to have many more tomorrow. Oh, and Peach Leaf, can you, thank you so much for gifting Peach Leaf a sub. Let's go ahead and get Peach Leaf as our last little Iggy of the night. And Mario is not 100 yet. He'll be 100 in the year 118 or 119. Um, and Plain Zebra will be fighting due to overcrowding. Well, we'll take care of that, I suppose. Oh gosh, and now there's like food in here. Hopefully they'll like lay in there. That's so cool. And let's get Peach Leaf over. Peach Leaf, I'm gonna actually put you over here. I wanna give you, I wanna have a little tea shop. Let's have a little tea shop over here with Peach Leaf. So we're gonna add in a tea shop at some point right over here. There we go. There, thank you, Ganyu. There, all right. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I hope all of you have a wonderful, wonderful night. We'll be back for more adventures, hopefully, tomorrow. I will let you know. I just, my life has, you know, I, I don't know what kind of adventures are waiting for me, but I know they're going to be full of joy, and I'm going to be so happy to share them with all of you. All right, let me check something really quickly. Let's see. Is there anybody... Hang on one second. I want to see if there's anybody we can give some giraffes to. But it is very late, so I could see how it might be a little late for this. All right, let's close this. And then, oh. Yeah, okay, let's go and let's say hello to KRX. There we go, who's also doing some Planet Zoo things, and he's actually doing some cozy chat and touring community zoos. So go forth and spread our giraffes if you could, you guys, and hopefully get some good ideas for what we can do with our zoo when we come back, like getting our, uh, getting our zebra not quite so aggressive. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and thank you. Thank you so much for sharing such a special day with me. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys. Zebra butt.